Hey guys, and welcome to your fifth phonics lesson. So for today, you are going to, again, need either a paper and pencil or a whiteboard and a marker. So if you don't have that, go ahead and pause, go ahead and get that, and then come on back when you're ready and we will get started. So we are going to start just like every day with our letter sound warm up because when you head to first grade, you are gonna know these letters like the back of your hand, which is gonna make reading and writing so much easier. So when I point to the letter, you're gonna say with me the letter, the keyword, and the sound. Here we go. A, apple, a, B, bear, b, C, cat, k, D, duck, d, E, edge, e, F, fish, G, goat, g, H, hammer, I, itch, i, J, jump, j, K, key, k, L, lion, o, M, monkey, m, N, nest, n, O, octopus, a, P, popcorn, p, Q, queen, q, R, rabbit, r, S, soap, s, T, toothbrush, t, U, up, a. Uh, V, violin, v, W, wave, w, X, mix, x, Y, yes, y, Z, zipper, z, and down to our digraphs. Now we know all of these. We got C, H, chin, ch, C, K, sick, k, S, H, sheep, sh, T, H, thumb, f, and W, H, whale, w. All right, nice job, you guys. So we worked on right before spring break, um, practicing our vowel sounds. So we know that our vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. And we learned that vowels make their short sound, which is what we usually practice, the sounds that we're used to from the beginning of the year, but they can also make a long sound. And the long vowel sound is easy to remember because it's really just the vowel's name. So we are going to practice those short vowel sounds and then those long vowel sounds. So again, these short vowel sounds, we have the letter, we got the keyword, and then the sound. And with our vowels, we also have a hand motion that's gonna go with it to help our brains remember those sounds. So we're gonna start with our short vowels. So you're gonna do this with me. Remember, we're gonna say the letter, we're gonna make the sound with the motion, and then say the keyword that it goes with. So let's start with A. Ready, here we go. A says, ah, like apple. E says, eh, like edge. I says, I, like itch. O says, ah, like octopus. And U says, uh, like up. Nice job, those are our short vowel sounds. But we talked about the fact that vowels also make a long sound. And the long sound is the vowel's name, but we also have a keyword picture to help us remember that. And when we do our motions for the long vowels, we just take our magic finger and write that letter in the air with our magic finger, pretending like we're writing it on like a magic piece of paper that's in the sky. So you're gonna take that finger, get ready to write the letter as we say the name and the keyword. So let's start with long A. So long A says A like acorn. Long E says E like eagle. Long I says, I like ice. Long O says, O like open. Long U says, you like unicorn. So you guys have been really good at knowing the vowels, short sounds, and their long sounds, which are just their name. Today we're gonna learn about when we would use the long vowel sound and how we would make sure that we're spelling it in our writing and when we might see it in reading and know that we needed to make the long sound instead of the short sound. So I know that some of you have been introduced to this before in writing and maybe even in phonics. Um, I know my class gets to it a lot in writing when we get to some words and we've kind of introduced it, but today we're gonna really talk about it. It is called the silent sneaky E. So there's a special kind of E when you have a vowel which are A, E, I, O, U. So when you have a vowel followed by any consonant, which are all of our other letters, all the ones that are in black here, and then an E. When you have a vowel, then a consonant, then an E. This E becomes something special. 
Sometimes it's called magic E. Sometimes it's called super E. I like to call it the silent sneaky E because this E is not gonna make any sound by itself. It's like it's not even there, but it does do something else. It's gonna jump over to the vowel, which we know can be A, E, I, O, or U. And it's going to make that vowel turn into its long sound. It's going to make the vowel no longer say a, e, i, a, or a, uh, but it's going to make the vowel say its long sound. And we know that the long sounds are a, e, i, o, u, just like we practiced with our long vowel poster. So we are going to get to a little bit of practice with that. So anytime you have a vowel, followed by a consonant and an E, this becomes the silent sneaky E that doesn't make any sound by itself, but it jumps over to that vowel and makes that vowel turn to the long sound, which is just the vowel's name. So we're gonna start by finger stretching out some words, and then we're gonna figure out how we could make that vowel turn to the long sound using a silent sneaky E. So get your paper, your whiteboard, your marker, your pencil, whatever you have. And just like we've been doing, you're going to draw a line for each sound that you hear. Okay? So we're going to start easy peasy. Let's start with the word cut. Ready? Cut. 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 Okay? Simple enough. Let's spell it. Cut. C. What says C? It could be a C or a K. In this instance, we're going to use a C. Okay? Cut. Uh, what vowel says uh? You. You says uh like up. Okay, cut. K, uh, t. And what letter says t? T. Okay, simple enough. We wrote the word cut. But what if we put a silent sneaky e over here? So this e is not going to make any sound. He's silent and sneaky. But what's he gonna do? He's gonna jump over to this U because we have a vowel consonant E. He's gonna jump over to that U and he's gonna flip that U from the short U, uh, to the long U, which is U like unicorn. So let's read it now. If this U is not gonna say uh anymore, this E is bossing him around and he's saying, nope, nope, nope. Silent sneaky E jumps next door and says, U now says U like unicorn. Let's read it. You t cute. We just changed the word cut to the word cute just by adding a silent sneaky E because it's going to jump to that U and make that U now the long sound, the U like unicorn. All right, you ready to try it with another word? Okay, first, easy peasy, let's finger stretch the word tap. Ready? Tap. Um, let's actually use our marker or our pencil to draw the lines for the sounds we hear. Ready? Tap, t -a -p. tap, okay, straightforward, ready? Tap, t, what letter says t? T, okay, tap, t, a, what says a? A, a says a like apple. Tap, t, a, p, what letter says p? P, like popcorn, okay. So now what I'm going to do, and what I want you to do, is I want you to just go ahead and add on a silent sneaky E. We know it's silent sneaky because we have a vowel and a consonant, and now we have our E. So that becomes our silent sneaky E. What does that silent E do again? Yeah, he's going to jump over and make the vowel say its name. He's going to make the vowel into the long vowel. And what vowel is this? It's an A. So it's going to now make the A not say ah like apple, but say what? A like acorn. So let's read this word now. We just turned tap into a new word by adding a silent E. Let's read it now. If that A is going to have to say A like acorn, let's read it. Okay, I'm going to do that with you. T A P tape. We just changed the word tap into the word tape by adding a silent sneaky E. Okay, let's do a few more. All right, 
stretch out and make the lines for the word pet. Ready? Pet. P -e -t. Pet. All right, see if you can spell pet without my help. Ready? Pet. All right, see if your board matches my board. Pet. P -e -t. Our vowel here is E because it says E eh, like edge. All right, just like last time, I'm going to add an E here. But we have vowel, consonant, E. So this E becomes that magic, that super, that silent, sneaky E. It's not going to make any sound, but what's it going to do? It's going to make the other vowel say its name or its long sound. So if this was pet, but we just changed that E eh to a long sound, what's a long E say? E, like eagle, read this word now. P E. We just changed pet to peat, like the name Pete, like Pete the cat, by adding a silent sneaky E. Okay, two more like this, and then I'm going to challenge you to do something. All right, let's do the word hop. Go ahead and stretch out with your lines and then spell the word hop. Ready? Hop. 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 Spell it for me. Check if your board matches mine. Hop, hop, hop. What's that vowel saying here? Ah, like octopus. Now, just like I did before, I'm gonna add an E. What kind of E is that? It's a silent, sneaky E because it's vowel consonant E. So that E is not gonna make any sound, but he is gonna do something. What's he gonna do? He's gonna make that O change to the long O. So O is not going to say ah oh, like octopus. What's the O going to say? O like open. So it was hop, but now let's read it. O -p hope. The new word is hope. We changed hop to hope by adding a silent sneaky E. All right, one more like this and we'll do it a little quickly. So now I want you to stretch out the word kit. Ready? Kit. It, kit. Spell it. Kit. K -it. Check yours on mine. What vowel is in this word? I. And I says I like itch. K it. Kit. Now I'm going to add something here. What is that? It's a silent sneaky E because it's vowel consonant E. That E is going to do something. What's he going to do? He's going to jump over to that I and change the I from I to I. Because its long sound is I like ice. So let's read the word now. K I T. What's the new word? It's kite. Nice job, guys. Okay, so now we're going to do one more thing as a challenge. And then be on the lookout for next week's phonics to have some more practice with this. So I'm going to challenge you to write the word home. Okay, let's do this one together. Home. O -m, home. Let's spell it. Home. What says H? Home. O. What says O? Like open? Oh. Hmm. But did it say ah like octopus? No, it said oh like open. So what do we need? Oh, we're going to need a silent sneaky E. But we have to leave a space for our consonant. So let's get back to that. So home. Oh, mm. what says mm? M? M. And now we need that silent sneaky E because we need that E to go over to this O and make it say O like open and not A ah, like octopus. Okay, now let's try to write, write the word time. We're gonna write two more words. Ready? Time. T I M. Time. Okay, first sound go. Time. T. What says T? T. Okay, time. I, what do you hear? I hear I like ice. 
But is that a short I, I, like itch? No, it's a long I, I like ice. So what are we gonna need after our consonant? We're gonna need a silence. So let's finish time. T, I, M. What consonant are we missing? M, M. Nice job, guys. So we have that E there because we have to make that I say I like ice, not I like itch. If we didn't have that E, it would be T, I, M, Tim. But did we want to write Tim? No, we were trying to make that say I. So in order for this to say I, we needed the silent sneaky. All right, last one for today. And this one is going to be tricky because it's going to have a digraph and the trick we learned today. So this word is shape. Ready? Shape. Sh a p shape. Okay, let's spell it. Ready? Shape. Sh what says sh? S-H, like sheep. Good. Okay, shape. Sh a. What do you hear? A, like acorn. But how are we going to make that A say A and not A? Ah? What could we use? A silent sneaky E after the consonant. So let's find out what consonant we're missing. Ready? Shape. Sh A P. What consonant are we missing? P. So you can do this either way. You can either finish with the consonant and then add your E, or you can leave a space for the consonant and then add that silent sneaky E. It's not on a line though. Why is it not on a line? because it's not making any sound, right? The lines are for each sound we hear. Do we hear a sound when we have a silent sneaky E? No, it doesn't make a sound. It just makes this vowel change its sound. So we are gonna get some more practice next week with writing words with long vowel sounds. When you read them in a book, if you see a vowel, which is our A, E, I, O, U, followed by any consonant and then an E. This is our silent, sneaky E. He's not gonna make any sound himself, but he is going to jump over the consonant and make whatever vowel it is, make the long sound or say its name. All right, thank you guys for tuning in and participating along with me and I will see you soon for writing. Bye.